Welcome back to another Bug Snacks video. Um, so I think before we do cold feet, we need to help this guy with this. Because I think, for some reason I think he is where we're going to get the net. If there is a net. I, I keep saying a net. But um, maybe there isn't a net. But um, I think he's going to help us a bit. So we're going to look for some um, strabbies. And somehow I need to get into there. Let's go to Simmering Springs. We need a root fruit or vegetable. And I think... Oh, that's how I can get one of these. Okay. So let's chuck that down. We'll give this a go real quick. Did that work? Maybe I have to wait till it. I have to wait till it um, lands or something? I don't know. Give it a second. Okay, that's not it. Sort that out later. Now, ooh, what is that? Down if it eats another bug stand. Oh, look, this lady's here. Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom Steam. Oh, Wiggle's the tour. person we needed to talk to. Lucky you. You get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starst. <gasps> you want me to come back to. And by muse, I mean change starts from the outside. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Okay, that's going to be hard, because I couldn't figure out how to get one of these. Um, I'll quickly get this strabby. nearly got that one. He needs to eat another snack bug. Bug snack, which I don't know how to do. Um, let's try and get this pineapple. Okay, here's one. So let's have a look. Perhaps another bug snack could dig it out. So we need a digging bug. Which one of these digs? into soil. Maybe that one is a virus. Can you even set them free? to dig things out of sand. Loves chocolate. Ah, okay. So we need to put chocolate onto this. Oops. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, I've got them both. can think no mm, I know I'm flowing I'm oh this flow is more of a dribble find me a grape skeeter they're too fast for Grambler or I to catch but a grape skeeter is one of these ones this one pops up and slows down if it eats another Plumps up and slows down if it, it eats another bug snack. So, loves chocolate. Ah, okay, I'm starting to figure this game out. There we go. Yeah, alrighty. Um, let's go, eat this. Look that pops. <laughs> Two pop ticks. Okay, we've got to figure out how to get those now. Um, couldn't figure it out last time. Grab some chocolate. That's right, we can just keep going. Ah, another fine day behind us. Shut up, Philbo. Okay. Pop ticks. So there's one. Small catch. Maybe some heat will come up. So if I do this. So that's done. So they're there. And then what, the, what? Maybe they like chocolate. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, 
Come on. Whoops. So I have to... Kidding me. Two of them. Okay, same thing. Is that one we just needed to wait a little bit for him to properly get caught in it? But well, that's good, we got that done. And we figured out how to catch a pop tick. Um, where are we going now? Back to the lady. Okay, Wiggle is back in Bug Snacks. Or Bug, uh, Bugville, whatever it is. Bugburg. Snackburg. Um. We still need popsicles. I think that's going to be a, a, um, a, a root bug snack. Hopefully that crab one is as well. Where 
Thimble, dear. Are you... Uh, sorry. <sighs> of course you do. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. Oh, it's... Uh, don't say that. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Philbo wants to talk to you. Where's he? He's probably asleep. Um, let's see if we can interview this lady. I am no... You've certainly heard my... You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction. To... Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. Oh, well... You know, no hit can stay on top forever. I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Every taste is like a star going supernova in bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay. Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. No! Goodness, no! I no, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, oh, Lizbert. She... They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music... Not nearly as... <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the... The queen of bug snacks. Well, but if Liz cross paths with... Ah, I know my story about the queens. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse... We could give you a map to Liz's last location. Okay. Sleep real quick. Phil, mm -hmm. here he is. is How's it going? Yep. Snacksburg is looking. Seems like a great time to. Ah, uh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> There ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> I think the mill is over here. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, 
you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, time out. I gotta use a little crumb shrimp. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ugh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Oh, Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked and... Huh? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? <clears throat> well, uh, let... Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> it's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up? That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus, for I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there, and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or Floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow?
Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so... Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. D don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to s Oh, well. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um... Oh, and the, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hey, Triffany, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Hmm, okay. So it looks like this is open now. And I think this is where we're going to find the big popsicles. So um, I'm going to do that in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.